Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in collaboration and contact center training. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I am the Cisco and Genesis Cloud instructor at Voice Bootcamp. In this video series of Genesis Cloud API self-study kit, we're going to focus on the user API. Our object, objective here is to, is to create a user using the API endpoint learn how to outline the user details structure and manage users using the API endpoint. In the user API, a user ID identifies every users in Genesis Cloud database. A user details contains data in the nested structure uh, with fields such as first name, last name, username, title, email, job or ID, etc. Now the user's API helps you extract those information about that particular user using their ID. Now, usually your user ID is based on your email address, whether it is a, a public email or an internal email, corporate email, doesn't matter. It's whatever the email ID that you, email address that you use at the creation of that particular user. You can display this information on your app's dashboard. You may get the complete details of an agent by using their age user ID or select the endpoint for specific features of the agent. Now the API that are associated with the users, it does allow you to update the user details as well as using the put or patch request. For example, you can change the on queue status of a user, password or, or their availability and so on and so. For example, maybe a uh, user have forgot to sign out from their desktop and their availability on the queue might be set to uh, available well if you have a web interface that allows that particular user to turn that feature off like make them unavailable from the queue so that they don't accept calls when they are not in uh, front of the pc or desktop or whatever the device that they use the goal is that you are basically allowing the user to make that change rather than admin or supervisor monitoring and making that change. Every API calls does require a certain level of permissions. This is where the roles and scopes comes into play. Now for the user that are associated with OAuth client uh, does require this permission except the cl client credential grant. For client credential, you will be prompted to assign the role of the OAuth client. Now to hit the user's API endpoint, OAuth client should have all permissions selected